So somebody asked me to clarify a little bit more about sensory motor amnesia. Because basically it's the tension that's running in your body that you can't sense and you can't control. It's like uh, it's outside your awareness. So how does that work? Uh, you know, muscle without sensory motor amnesia in our relationship with our brain and our nervous system uh, at rest, it's 0% on and it's truly resting. And as you tighten it up, uh, you can feel it more and more and more. All the way up to 100% you can tighten it and then voluntarily let that lower down all the way back to zero. And that muscle rests really well, it's not a problem. Uh, but then there is a type of problem that happens. Uh, what happens to the muscle? What about the muscle that's on? Uh, it's on about 40%, 40% of its effort, and it's just, uh, your perception of it is that that's as relaxed as it gets. Your body's just sort of stiff and tight, but you can try and rest and relax, but it's always at that level. It doesn't go below that 40%. So, uh, as you tighten it up, it'll say that's your back, and even when you're sleeping, your back is on. You go to lift up a box, and it shouldn't be that hard to lift that box, but it, it adds that 50% more to the ability of your back and uh, using up that ability, and then there's like a violent reaction, a contraction, a self-protective automatic uh, reflexive reaction that's this spasm of the back. It's like, ah, it really hurts. Well, how do we restore that, that muscle in the nervous system, in its place in the nervous system, so that uh, it's not on at that 40% all the time? Because you, that's just where you think it's, if you just lie down, and it will stay on that much. So we use a, I teach a, a method called pandiculation. Well, a yawn is a pandiculation, and cats pandiculate about 40 times a day, and that's the natural reset. It helps, part, the, the contraction phase, it's a, contra a pandiculation is a contraction followed by a slow, easy relax, just pleasurable, just back to rest. Now that does two things. The contraction uh, creates a pleasurable sensation. Cats only do it because it's pleasurable. And that lights up that place in your brain on the sensory cortex, and the brain thinks, ah, that's it. Before, I couldn't really feel that place very well, but with this much pleasurable contraction, these sensations, I can, I can know that place. It, it's like completing the map that your brain has of your body. So we have this contraction, and then this slow relax. So this muscle that's 40% on, as we contract it, more and more, eventually, well, you can feel the tension that's there. And if you just go up into it in a gentle, pleasurable way, uh, then with control, because we can pandiculate better than a cat, we can we can we have to teach our brain uh, to reset. It's more more a little more effective than just an automatic yawning. But uh, as you contract up and make that a pleasurable sensation, if you lower it slow and really smooth it down and go at the rate that your sensory motor cortex, the part of your brain that voluntarily senses and controls movement and lower that down, soon at rest it might be at 30% on, okay? So a muscle that's on 40% of the time, that will be a muscle that's sore and really painful and achy and causing problems. 30% of the time, that's a muscle that uh, just you feel stiff, occasional aches and pains. So how do we get it to even relax more? So from that 30% from that, that it's at now, contract and we come into this filling in the sensory perception of that space in our body and lowering down very slowly, smooth, smooth all the way. And then we're at 20% on all the way down. And that's our rest. That's our perception of rest right now. Now, what if we come up one more time? Coming on up, a pleasurable yawn. And then a slow lengthening, smooth smooth. Let that, let that space open up. Create a spatial perception that the brain has of that place in your body moving. Because the amnesia, in a way, it's like a forgetting these muscles that are held tight so long. The brain there is so persistent that the brain forgets that that place can move. Okay, and one more pandiculation. We, we're trying to take care of a problem that's piled up. It's like uh, it's, it's due to a lot of practice and rehearsal that this muscle was on 40%. And 
even when we think it's resting. So we're getting it to relax, last one. Coming on up into a gentle arching of the back and pull the shoulder back to the, pull your shoulder back to the arch of your back or back across your back to the opposite hip. Where's the spot that's hard to feel and tighten just a little bit more. And then open slow, go so slow that you can perceive the lengthening of that place all the way. That's it, nice and long. Well, that's pandiculation. So a muscle that can truly be relaxed when you are relaxing, well, that muscle, when you need it to be on, is going to have lots of vitality and energy. You'll feel uh, like you're alive again. Uh, these muscles that are on all the time, they use up all our energy. We feel people very often, they check that box, it's like I feel fatigued or I feel stiff. Well, the stiffness is that those patterns that are on all the time. And the patterns happen in certain ways in humans, uh, and I can get to that another time. But that's just a little bit explaining the sensory motor amnesia. It's this habit, the learned tension habit, where the brain just says, well, I, I, I think that's resting. I, it, it's adjusted something called your alpha gamma motor neuron coactivation loop. It's adjusted so that it just says, well, that tension's been on so much, I guess that's just sort of normal for our, for our feedback and our equilibrium of sensing. And those tensions normalize and they're problematic. So that's a little bit about pandiculation. And I can show you how to free yourself with pandiculation. It is the, truly the natural, most effective way to reset tension in the body. You can have someone massage your muscles, but that's relinquishing your sovereignty over who controls the muscle tension. A massage therapist tricks your brain into uh, getting the muscles to relax. That's what those sensations, those pleasurable sensations of massage do. But it's more gratifying if you're the one who relaxes your body. I mean, it's your body after all. So blessings to you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.